This video is brought to you by patreon.com backslash sip the tally. Join the Patreon for exclusive vids, early release vids, on screen shout outs, access to members only giveaways, and added monthly tally points. Hop on over to patreon.com backslash sip to tally to see which one of the four tiers fits for you. Now let's get started. Morning. Welcome back to Sip the Tally Films. I'm your host, Coach Evans. And on today's episode, we're going to do a little wondering about team building. Now, with yesterday's news of Houston trading for Stefan Diggs, that sent Twitter slash X into a conundrum wondering what are we doing on the Ravens side of team building. And it also threw us back into wondering how and why did we sort of waste Lamar's rookie contract, you know, not building the team around him. Well. No, I didn't want to necessarily go back and think about like wasting his rookie contract because we're here now. Don't need a crying over spill milk. My thing was, what can we do in the future or not in the future, but right now to help Lamar and kind of build the best team around him? Because he's on his, you know, his big deal now. What's out there now to help Lamar get the best team around him possible? So I wanted to kind of look at where we're at now the money that we have available, the free agents that we have available, what can we do now before the draft to build the best team possible? So let's kind of check in with the, the salary cap, with the free agents that are available, and see you know what's available out there to help build the best Baltimore Ravens team available from a fan standpoint because we don't have all the information that DaCosta has. We don't have all the information that Harbaugh has or Ozzy or anybody of the top decision makers. We don't have all the information that's available to them. So just from, you know, sports tra sport track is going to be my information that I'm going to use today. And I'm going to put on the screen and show you how I kind of did my little research. And uh, we're going to talk about the money that's available, the actual money that's available and um, who's available, who may fit. And um, we're going to go from there. And that's what the basis of this video is about today. Welcome back to Tip to Talent Films. I'm your host, Coach Evans. And let's get started. All right, again, welcome back. And so before we get started, if you're new here, hit that like button. If you have not subscribed, go ahead and hit subscribe and hit that bell so you can be notified when we drop the rest of this content throughout the 2024 offseason. And if you don't know, we'll be here for round one draft coverage on the 25th. Me, myself, OTR Mike, Chris Just Joking, uh, Hendo, Jose and Brighton from Lunch Break High Take, and the rest of the Deep Cover crew, which is Michael Crawford and Kerry Stevens. Uh, we'll all be here for the first round, second round, also third round, no dice. But let's get into why we're here today. So first, let's start with the actual money that's available for the Baltimore Ravens. And again, this is from SportTrack, SportTrack.com. And you see the adjusted salary cap. It's um that's the main number for every team right there. That's 253 million, a little bit over 253 million. And this is active contracts, which is the next line for the Baltimore Ravens. You see the dead cap, that's Kevin Zeitler's money, that's Odell money, that's a bunch of money from a bunch of different players that we don't have on the team anymore. Then you see the 2023 rollover. And then you have your total at the bottom. That's 247 million dollars and 11,000, a little bit more, $113. Now, your top 51. I'm not really sure about the top 51. That's the number I need to do some research on to kind of understand the top 51, but that's uh, $241 a little bit more than $241 million. Now, your total cap space left. That's like what we have left to spend. That's $12,314,281. Now, that's, you think that's, you know, that's a nice amount of money you can go get X, Y, Z, you can, you know, get your offensive lineman, you can get your receiver, you can go get you a couple of vets that's, you know, right around the minimum or whatever. But you got to think, you haven't, you got to sign your rookie class. You got to sign your rookie class. And the more picks you got, the more money you need to sign your rookie class. 
So right now we have nine picks. Let's see what is it, let's see what it's going to take if we use all nine of those picks. All right, let's slide on down to that. All right, now according to Sport Track, that first round pick, pick thirty, is going to take a cap hit of two million two hundred eighty nine thousand five hundred thirty six dollars. Second round pick, which is number sixty two. One million one hundred sixty thousand three hundred fourteen dollars. Pick three, which is pick number. I'm sorry, third round pick, which is pick number ninety three. And this is no, pending no trades or anything. We just stick with our picks. One million two hundred. I'm sorry, one million twenty three thousand three hundred twenty five dollars. And then pick four. Well, both fourth round picks was with a similar number. Nine hundred eighty nine thousand. Ninety-four dollars, second fourth round pick, nine hundred sixty-four thousand nine hundred nine nine hundred twelve dollars. Oh, that's my alarm to wake up. <laughs> uh, round five, eight hundred sixty-five thousand five hundred thirteen dollars. Uh, round six, eight hundred twenty-eight thousand six hundred sixty-seven dollars. Round seven, eight hundred twenty-one thousand seven hundred twenty-one dollars. And round seven, uh, eight hundred fifteen thousand. $174, which is a total of $9,758,260. Now, you got to take that away from that $12 million that I showed you earlier. So that's approximately $2,556,000 and $21. So now you're looking at if you don't do any trades, if you don't do any restructures, if you don't do anything, and if you, you use all your picks with the money you have saved, you only have $2 million to work with. $2 million. So, yeah, they say it looks like we got $12 million. But if you stick with all your picks, you don't package nothing to trade or you don't do anything that, you're really looking at $2 million. Two. Too. And I mentioned dead money earlier. Let's let's show you like where the dead money is. Say that. Four mi four plus million to Kevin Zeitler. Two million to Bowser. Uh, one point eight to Gus. One point six to Rocky Scene. One point four to Morgan Moses. And everybody else that's on this list is is under a million. Six hundred thousand to Gino. Uh, two hundred thirty one thousand to Caillou Blue Kelly. And the rest is don't really matter. But you you don't have as much money as you think you have. You need some restructures. You need some some other different things to pop off in order to be able to sign some people that we don't we have left in free agency. So now there are a few guys in the free agency pool that I think can help us. Not very many, but let's take a look at those guys in the free agency pool that I think can help us in the areas that need help that we need help. So the areas I think we need help the most. Our offensive line, edge, cornerback, and wide receiver. I was about to say no particular order, but offensive line is first. Then those other three in no particular order, but definitely offensive line. So let's look at what offensive linemen are out there and see, you know, are, is there anybody out there that, can help us. So let's go available. Offensive line update. All right, you, you see David Bakhtiari there at 32. And I would love for Bakhtiari to go in there, but I've never seen him play right tackle. I don't know if he can. And he's 32. But over the last three years, Bakhtiari has been injured a lot. And I know he's been good, but he's been injured a lot, a lot, a lot. And he's not one of the names I got wrote down on my paper. But under one of those chance circumstances, Bakhtiar would stay healthy. He'd probably be a good fit at right tackle, but he just he's never healthy. Ne over the past three or four years, he's never been healthy. But the name's on my paper. Now, this first name I'm gonna talk about, let me let me let me find it. Right, this guy right here, Makai Beckton. Now, I know a lot of 
people have um, rolled Makai Becton off, and he has had a crazy three years in New Jersey, uh, not New Jersey, New York. But um, when I saw this name and I looked at his age, and I realized that he hadn't been signed yet, Sport Track has him saying that he's probably get like eleven or twelve million. I call BS on that because of what has happened with him in uh, New York. And then I went to um, PFF to see like what his grades were. And I noticed that he played right tackle the first two games last year. And um, so I went to, I went and looked at that first game versus the Bills of him playing right tackle. He did not look bad. Did not look bad. His, his grade was like 60 something. But from I went and looked at every play yesterday, and he did not look bad playing right tackle. Now, the second game was against the Cowboys, and his grade was very bad, but it was Michael Parsons. He had to deal with Michael Parsons that second game, and Michael Parsons make a lot of people's grade look bad. But after the second game, they moved him to left tackle, and he just didn't look as good. Now, I didn't watch very many of those games at left tackle because I was interested in him playing right tackle. Now, I think Makai Becton could help us at right tackle, but not at $11 million. You know, I, I, the fact that he's not signed yet, he would have definitely have to come off that price of $11 million. Definitely. That's one name. Next name I, I saw that I felt could help us, and this is at playing right tackle, is a guard. Let me see. Here he is. Dalton Rosny. Fit him in that guard. That would be one of your guard spots you handle. Then you go find you another guard. And, um, Free agency. Solid dude, solid guy that can, can go in and, and fill one of your spots. Now you got one less hole to, to find in, in, in the draft. Then maybe you can package some of your picks and move up. Depends on what depend on what you do with these free agents that are out there. You could then package some of your picks and move up to get somebody you want. But if you don't do, if you just stand pat in free agency right now. You can't package no picks and move up because you got to pick. You got to use all your picks to try to hit on something. All right, next. And I'm going to the other side of the ball now. I probably shouldn't, but it's a need. To me, it's a need. Cornerback. Because ain't much out there. Ain't, ain't, ain't much out here. And these three guys I kind of fly through. Xavier Howard, you know, the fact that he's still out here, his price will go down. Uh, having a third reliable corner will definitely help our defense get that much better because I believe having two outside guys that can play, Brandon Stevens and Xavier Howard, and you let Marlowe go be that slot corner, changes your defense tremendously. Tremendously. We all know how good Marlowe is when he gets to go play inside and be as physical as he is. And think about having Marlowe as the guy that can line up over a slot receiver and then be able to blitz sometime instead of uh, Marlette. Having Marlo be a blitzer and, and Kyle Hamilton as a blitzer. Hmm. If you love defense, just let just ponder on that for a minute. Another guy that I wouldn't mind, and I've talked about this on multiple occasions, Stephon Gilmore. For that same reason I just talked about with Xavier Howard. For the same reason, same reason you can, you can allow him to be outside, Brandon Stevens to be outside. You can allow Marlo to 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 work outside and inside and just do different things. All right, this guy, this this last guy, I want to talk about is a sleeper. He's a guy that's kind of been a favorite of mine for a long time, but he's he would be a slot corner. He won't necessarily give you what Marlo can give you inside, but he can kind of defend those smaller, quicker, twitchier guys. Let me see if I can find his name real quick. Avante Maddox. He's a guy I've liked for a while. Uh, you know, he's, like I said, one of those twitchier guys. He can go play your, your slot corner and, and do a bunch of different things. And you probably won't blitz him as much as you would if you had Marlowe in there. But he can probably cover just as good as Marlowe on those, some of those faster, twitchier, those, uh, those um, in and out corners, those corners, I mean not corners, receivers that that 
you know, your, your fast twitch corners. Maybe not a Tyreek Hill because nobody can cover Tyreek Hill. But those little those little guys that can, can get in and out of the breaks faster. So, you know, that's what I think is out there. Ain't much out there left in, in free agency. Um, Age-wise, all I can think of really right now is Kyle Van Noy for the price. Um, there are some edge guys out there, but they still trying to get money that we don't have. But I definitely think we need to bring Van Noy back. And so that's why I didn't throw him up there because we're familiar with Van Noy. And um, really, it's, it's it's slim pickings in free agency right now. It's slim pickings in free agency. And... That's really what I think is left out there for us to try to bring back. I appreciate you guys for coming through, man. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you chose to be here with me. So um, good morning. Today is April 4th, 2024. It's actually 540 a.m. And I appreciate you for being with me. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, share. Uh, put your comments down below if you think um, I'm spot on with this. If you disagree, put those comments down there also. And uh, put any free agents out there left that you think we should try to pick up. Uh, who do you think we should restructure? Because there are going to have to be some restructures if we pick up anybody. Uh, because we really, again, really don't have but about two to three million dollars once you factor in those rookie contracts. So I appreciate y'all again, man. Uh, peace and love, and I'll see y'all soon. Coach Evans out. Peace.